Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I am making a get ready video with me today. So if you want to see how I got this look that I've got going on right now, then keep on watching. If you want to see me go from drab to fab, then keep watching. <laughs> now, I am going out to an event tonight and it is for breast cancer. It's called Get, it's like an event called Get the Girls Out. Uh, one of my teacher aides have invited me to go out tonight to basically raise awareness and kind of just yeah a night to celebrate and celebrate women and just to yeah raise awareness and there's going to be a few different speakers there so we'll learn a little bit of information so I'm excited about that it is going to be I think primarily older women but I'm excited to go and hopefully there's a couple younger women there too but yes I am excited I didn't think the makeup I was going to do was going to turn out as nice, but it has turned out alright. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then, and I will show you how I got it. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon. So I've just cleaned my face, and as you can see, I couldn't help myself but end up picking up a little, or end up picking a pimple. Oh my gosh, I've got to stop doing this. It's a really bad habit. As soon as like, I see a pimple, I'm like, ooh. Or like a, it wasn't really a pimple, it was more of a blackhead. I'm sorry, that's gross. But anyway, that's why I've got this little red dot there now. So anyway, I'm going to get on with this makeup. And yeah, I'm going to make this look from drab to fab. <laughs> well, let's hope. <laughs> but first, I'm going to start off with eyebrows. Now, the brush I use is always this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Usually I just put a little bit on here just to warm it up on the skin. Hello, you video? Yeah. Mm. Come in. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is Jamie. <laughs> I'm going to switch you. I'm a crazy woman, I? You are a crazy woman. <laughs> So now I've got the base of those eyebrows on, I'm going to go and carve them out now. So the concealer I'm going to use to carve up my brows is going to be this infallible, infallible, sorry, infallible concealer by L'Oreal Paris and it's more than concealer. This is actually pretty bomb. I actually really like this concealer. It's quite thick and it actually is pretty good coverage. So for the price of it, not mad, pretty good. actually really quite like that. That's the shade. It is in colour Latte 331. That's the shade that I use. And I use that one because it's kind of got like olive undertones. And I just go with like a flat brush and I just carve out my brows. Now when I carve out my brows too, I usually start from here. Just for anyone wondering too, I'm literally only using the light from my window. So all the lighting I've got here is just literally natural lighting and one concealing light, that's it. I don't have any other lighting around me. So what you see is what you get. <laughs> This little pimple that I squeezed, ew. 
um, but it's really puffed up. Uh, I'm gonna have a fun job trying to cover that up. Oh, I should not have squeezed it, but far out. It is what it is, isn't it? Definitely should have just left that one alone. Never mind. All is well. I will survive. So pretty much my brows done. Now, one thing I do wanna just do with these brows at the moment is I wanna actually put some powder on because, like I was saying before, when you have moisturizer on before you actually put your eyebrows on, it tends to slide if you don't set them. So I just use the Rimmel one and it looks kind of just like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's, I need a new one of these, clearly. It just looks like that anyway and it's by Rimmel. The logo's gone. See it. It's got some sort of vague writing on it. Brow this way, brow this way. Oh my god, how did I even read that off that? Can you? Oh my god. I go in just with an angled brush and I just basically practically use just the powder side. It could be any brow powder to be honest. This is just one that I have that I actually do like and it does work well. So I will actually get this again. This brow powder is a little bit lighter, which is a okay because you don't really notice it too much. It's basically just to keep it locked in place so it doesn't kind of like slide. Adding a bit of brow powder onto it makes it also look a little bit more like put together and less sparse as well, I found. I really enjoy doing that to my brow. So just putting like a bit of brow powder over the top of the dip brow because yeah, like I said, it can slide a little bit. So it's good to just kind of lock it in place. Just remember ladies, they are not twins. They are sisters. And if anyone knows me in real life, me and my sisters look completely different. So if your brows are looking not too the same, it's a-okay because like I said, they are meant to be sisters, not twins. Next step, I'm gonna start off with the eyes. Before I put any concealer down on my eyelids, I'm gonna go and use this. I haven't used this for a while, so it's been a little, it's been a hot minute since I've used this magnifier eyes for eye primer, but since I'm going out tonight, I'm going to prime the eye. Literally just like a primer, just like a little base to like make it kind of blend better and more flawlessly. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go put some concealer on. Isn't it amazing though what like makeup can do? Now, I'm using my fingers for this. Usually I just use a brush, but because I put that primer on, it is a bit like sticky. So I just really kind of want to use my finger because it's got heat and I'm just going to kind of uh, really blend that into. So as you can see, like, I look so crazy, but I'm just making it a nice kind of base for when I put and apply color. Get it, girl, get it. <laughs> now I'm going to start on the eyes. Now. If I'm going to, I might just clean that up quickly, just a little bit underneath the eye, because it's a little bit under the edge for the makeup wipe. One thing, if you really want to get really snatched eyeshadow, the key is legit sticky tape. So I'm gonna go get some now. Okay, so I've got some tape, so this is quite long, but we're gonna use it anyway. We're gonna snatch dry lid, ladies. So put this on the corner of your eye. Now, this is probably way too long. <laughs> But we're gonna make it work. Yes, you're gonna look absolutely ridiculous like some sort of weird alien. But do not fear because the alien look will pull up. Look, just, just trust me guys, trust the process. Okay, trust these alien, <laughs> alien looking faces for a minute. What the heck do I even just say? Does that even make any sense? I have no clue. You know what, I feel like when you like film yourself, you just act weird. You're not purposely acting weird, but it's just like, cause you don't know any, it's not natural to like talk to a camera. So I just feel like, am I being weird or is this just me? <laughs> anyway, having one of those days. Now I've got my crazy eye sticky tape things on the corner of my eyes. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Matte Maker just to like set the eye primer and the concealer. So then I've got a nice, kind of just fresh, flawless base to put my shadow on. I'm just using this Morphe brush. Um, I don't know, there's no number on it, but I got it in like a little pack. It's the one on their website. It's for like $30. I got it as like a, an eye brush set. So anyway, just putting a bit of that on there just to make it a little extra like matte. And obviously, like I said, yeah, it's easier to put the eyeshadow on. 
Okay, so this is the Morphe 35B Artistry Palette, the beautiful colours, BT Dubs. And yeah, they're just super vibrant, super nice. I'm gonna try and create a nice look. You know what, this looks really nice. Like that's kind of like a nice standout colour. So I don't know whether I should do just like something kind of a bit wild and wacky or just something kind of really kind of pretty and girly or see there's not a lot of neutral tones so I'm going to kind of have to do like a bit of a bold colour for my eyes. So, hmm, what to do? Yep, okay. I think I've got it. I'm using this Morphe brush that came in that little pack. I'm going to start with a transition colour. Let me zoom up for this. So these colours, they do need like building up, so as I'm just putting it on now, like it's not that that pigmented, so they are colours that need to be like definitely built up, for sure. At least the yellow does, the yellow is one that's not, I mean yellow is a hard colour, I feel in general to be really vibrant off the get go, but yeah, in this case, this particular yellow needs a lot of building up. Get like a nice vibrant yellow on the eye. Add a bit of orange on top of that, and I'm just gonna kind of go in. Now I'm just gonna quickly speak about these brushes. Now they aren't the softest at the moment, as far as I can feel. Like they're kind of a bit scratchy, but for the price of them, I suppose they're not too bad. But I think the bristles are a little bit hard for my liking. Like don't get me wrong, they're blending quite nicely, I think, but just like the actual texture and feel of them, I mean they're just a little bit, a little bit rough, a little bit hard, a little harsh. Like these would be like, yeah, so much nicer if they were a little bit more fluffier and less scratchy. Got a little bit of yellow, got a little bit of orange, I'm not going to be too fussy with this. Also, if you were wondering what colours I've been using, so I used the yellow, I used the orange, now I'm going to probably go with like this purple and maybe, yeah, these two purples here. So I want to wing on it, I want to just really... Make sure that is quite dark at the sides there. Now, because I've lost a little bit of the colour up the top, I am going to go in with um, that same brush before and just kind of try and blend out some more of the colour a bit higher because I have lost a bit of that putting that purple down. It seems like your mind is elsewhere. I'm going to be afraid to like go underneath here a little bit too because I want to have a bit of a bold eye tonight anyway. So I'll put that in the middle there and I'm going to put some gold on that. Now, because this concealer is not as light, I am going to use a different concealer for the cutting of it. And I'm just using this Becca Ultimate uh, Coverage Longwear Concealer. So I'm just going to go in with that, put a little bit of my hand, and then I'll put that on the middle of my eye. And then I'm going to put some gold on top of that. I'm going to go in with this Liquid Alloy Eyeshadow. It's a gold one. I have three of these. I've got one in the purple. I've got one in the rose gold and then I've got one in the gold. And these are, I think, limited edition, but they are really nice. And they actually like have like a little wand, so I'm gonna use this. Gold. Now I've actually decided to, to actually add a little bit of that gold on top of that as well, just to give it more gold. I'm gonna fix that up in the corners. A nice fluffy brush from before with a dark purple. Just really blending that. And I'm gonna go in, but it's still gonna look a little bit crazy. But when we actually add like the eye wing and the foundation, it's going to look a lot nicer. This Smith Beauty eyeliner. This is actually really good and it's only $8. Okay, so now, before I put any of the eyeliner on, I'm going to go with this, it's the Revlon Cream Eyeshadow in Tuxedo Smoking. I'm going to kind of just line the eyes as if, as if it was going to be a wing. Looks like that. Now, I'm going to take this off. 
Look how bad it is. Damn. <laughs> So we get, that looks so super crazy, but we're gonna get our makeup wipe and we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now we can actually go and put an actual liquid eyeliner wig on. This Morphe liquid eyeliner in blackout. Put a wig on that. Lighting's changed so much in here because I'm sorry, but I am using like natural light and the sun's going down. It's winter, so it goes down so early ish. Got spots in my face, I'm just gonna blend that in now with this beautiful brush. Now, because I've got really dark eye circles. I'm actually going to go and do my eye circles, but I'm going to put this conceal on. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to go into like, make me look super away. Because let's be real, I like, have had a lack of sleep lately. Now I'm going to blend that in. But we'll lock that concealer in where I kind of placed it. Okay, so looking a little bit flat, I'm going to add some bronzer to give me a little bit more bronze. But first, I might just put some of this Magic Loose Powder on, just to actually also keep it set underneath my eyes. Move on skin lights. Make sure you get the neck especially. It's going crazy wild, but it's okay because we're going to blow dry that out soon. Pro Glow To Go palette. To contour my nose, I just basically do like a line, like a diagonal line. Kylie Jenner Lip, lip Liner in Posey K. Okay, so I'm not going to put my lip on yet, like the actual lip color I'm using, because I don't know what I'm using yet until I actually put my outfit on. So that's just going to be how it is. So I'm just going to be using this Bejour Mascara in Black. Now just for the highlighter, I'm just going to use that same Tardis Pro Glow To Go palette. And I'm just going to use that top one. I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And now I'm going to go and get my hair dryer. I'm going to go get my setting spray and I'm going to go do my hair and set my face. Okay, so this is basically the makeup. Now, I do need to still do my lips because I haven't decided on the colour yet, but I'm thinking about wearing this. Let me just step back. So I'm thinking about wearing this, so I'm thinking about maybe a nice like purpley or like pink lip. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to try this on and I'll be back. So I'm back and this is the final look. I've got um, just like a Lily Loves jacket over this cute little dress. I've just got my gold watch. I've got my Chanel, fake Chanel, <laughs> fake Chanel um, necklace that I bought literally for $20 at the markets. And I'm wearing these kind of high heels with a strap. And yeah, that's pretty much 
me for the night. So, yep. <laughs> Belle, you want to say hello? Give me you. <laughs> you say hello. Say hello to the people. Hey. So, yeah. This is my outfit. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. See you guys. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good.